evening, chapter 10, the Gospel of John, and we're in chapter 10. You know, friends, tonight life is very precious. Life as you know it, life as I know it, life as we know it. Twice in the past week, Tracy and I were two weeks. Wednesday evening we were in Bangor at a week. Visiting our good friend, Pastor Bill Dunn, whose wife went home to be with the Lord. Last night we were at another wake in Dundonald of another mother who passed into the presence of the Lord. You see, friends, tonight, please remember this. Life is very precious. That's what the Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 14. But what is your life? It is but a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then it vanisheth away. My uncle, when he was diagnosed with cancer and was told that he had only six weeks left to live, he told my father this, when you come to this stage in life, knowing that the end is near, you realize life is precious. For many, life is painful. Many people suffer in life. You read the book of Job, chapter 3, verse 1. Job opened his mouth and cursed the day he was born. Life can be painful. And for many people, life can be pitiful. All they know is rack and ruin. All they know tonight is drink and drugs. And people like that tonight need more than being pitied, they need prayed for. And people like that tonight need the Savior. I want to draw your attention tonight to John's Gospel, chapter 10. And this message tonight is about life. Life more abundant in Jesus. And in John chapter 10, verse 10, the Lord Jesus speaks and says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's my text this evening. For the Lord Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. You know, friend, so many people today confess their life is meaningless. Many confess today their life is empty. Many confess their life is joyless. But the good news of the gospel message is this, doesn't come from the lips of a preacher comes from the lips of the Lord Jesus tonight. He says, I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Three things in that text tonight God wants you to see. First of all, there's the steps of Christ. He says, I am come. Do you see those steps tonight? Those steps come tonight to you. He says, I 
am come to you in your need. I am come tonight in your misery. I am come tonight to where you are. I am come. Do you know today, do you know tonight, a lot of people fail to realize life's greatest enemy is not death. Life's greatest enemy is not death. Life's greatest enemy tonight is sin. Life's greatest enemy is not death tonight. Life's greatest enemy is sin. Romans chapter 5, verse 12, As by one man, Adam, it says this, Sin entered the world, and death by sin and death has reigned upon all men for all of sin. And people tonight ignore the real problem in their life tonight. Sin. The real problem in man's life tonight is not the alcohol, it's not the drink, because they're only the fruits of the problem. The root of the problem tonight in life is sin. And the Lord Jesus says, I am come tonight. What did you come for, Lord? I've come to deal with the sin problem. I've come to deal with the sin problem in your life. Friend, the greatest problem in a man's life is not the drink or the drugs or any way living. The problem in a man and a woman's life is sin tonight. Sin's the curse of the life. Sin's the curse of the heart. Sin's the curse of the soul. But the Lord Jesus says, I am come. I want you to notice his steps tonight and where they take him. They take him up Calvary's mountain. They take him to the hill called Calvary because it's there where the sin problem had to be dealt with. There on an old rugged blood-stained cross, he was crucified. And he who knew no sin had to be made sin for us. that we may be made the righteousness of God through him. He says, I am come. I am come to go to the cross, and I am come to suffer there, and I've come there to bleed there, and I've come there to die there, and I've come there to give my life there, to set you free. I am come to make the steps of Christ. You know, friend, tonight the Lord Jesus never walks away from a person in need. The Lord Jesus never walked away from anyone in trouble. The Lord Jesus never walked away from any person tonight who was needy in life. Tonight he says to you, I, I am come. You've tried it, but it's failed. Ah, but I am come. That's the good news tonight. I am come. And that's the steps of Christ. In that text, you've got the supply of Christ. I am come that they might have life, life with a capital L. He didn't come that we made of religion. There's people tonight and they're in religion up to the ears, and they're no better off tonight. The Lord Jesus says, Ah, but I am come. 
that they might have life. Do you know, friend, tonight, listen, there's people and they're searching for life tonight. They're searching for it in a bottle. They're searching for it in pills. They're searching for it tonight in the dens of iniquity. And they're searching for it tonight in the discos and in the clubs. And I'll tell you, they're searching for life, I'm telling you. You say to me, how do they searching for life in those places? I'll tell you, that's what they are, for I did it myself. People searching for life tonight. But they can't find it. Do you know why they can't find it for? Because they turn their back on the one who can give them life. Oh, the Lord Jesus says, I am come. That they might have life. Says to your empty heart tonight, I want to give you life. It's life with a capital L. He says, I am come because I am the answer. He says, I am come because I can make you whole. But friend, tonight, here's the first step tonight. That you have to, listen, the Lord Jesus has made the first step by coming. The next step is your step tonight. Because what you need to do is repent of your sin tonight. Do you know the most deadly sin that damns the sinner? The most deadliest sin that damns the sinner is the sin of self-righteousness. Self-righteousness says, I don't need Christ. Self-righteousness says, I don't need forgiven. Self-righteousness says, I don't need saved. I'm all right. You're not all right. I'll tell you, self-righteousness is the most deadliest sin that has damned sinners. Maybe that's what's wrong with you tonight. You're too proud. I'll tell you, there's no proud, proud people in heaven tonight. No proud people ever see it. Sinners have to come on their knees tonight. And they have to come to repent. The Lord Jesus says, I am come that they may have life. That's the supply of Christ. Remember that day at the well, the woman by the well? Whosoever shall drink this water shall thirst again. That's true. Whosoever shall drink shall thirst again. You see, there's pleasure in sin, but Sin's pleasure doesn't last. Unsaved friend tonight, the Lord Jesus is the supply of life. The old hymn writer said, Burden one, why will you longer bear sorrows from which he releases? Open your heart and rejoicing share Life more abundant in Jesus. You see, I, I know all about this life. And I know all about the life that I lived. I thought I had life. I never knew what it was to have life. Until I opened my heart. And the Lord Jesus, he came in. I'll tell you this tonight, there's pleasure in sin. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you lies tonight. There's pleasure in sin. But as a sinner of 20 years of age, 20 
years and eight days old. I came to Jesus as I was. As the hymn writer says, weary, worn, and sad, boys, but I was sad. But I found in him a resting place. He has made me glad. You see the steps of Christ tonight in that text. He says, I am come. Do you see the supply of Christ in that text that they made of life? Do you see the satisfying of Christ in that text and that they might have it more abundantly? Unsaved friend tonight, the life the Lord Jesus wants to give you is a life that sin won't allow you to have. The life that the Lord Jesus wants to give you tonight is a life that sin won't allow you to have. Because this abundant life is supernatural life. This life tonight, glory to God, it's eternal life. And the Lord Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. For those of us that are saved sitting around you unsaved tonight, here's the testimony of us tonight. God hath given to us eternal life and this life is in His Son. It's not in a church. I'm telling you, there's people tonight and they think they're alive and they are alive, but they're dead in trespasses and in sins. And they've got creeds and catechisms and religion up to the ears, but they're as dead as a corpse spiritually. But eternal life, it's only found in a person tonight. And that person is the Lord Jesus. And sadly, sadly tonight, too many people gorge themselves in the pleasures of the world. And gorge themselves in religious activity, but of no life to show for it. But the Lord Jesus said, I am come that they may have life. He says, I give my life to give you life. He says, I shed my blood to give you life. He says, I give myself to the cruel cross that you may have life to And unless you turn to him this evening in repentance of your sin, you'll never have eternal life. Because you see, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sin. He says, I give unto them eternal life. They shall never perish. But he said this to me. He said, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Soul tonight, sinner friend tonight, the thief, the devil tells you tonight, this is only nonsense. But the thief in that same verse said, as told, we're shown tonight the thief in that verse, he has come not but for to kill and to destroy and steal. The devil doesn't want you to have a life tonight, but the Lord Jesus wants you to. But your sin won't allow you to have eternal life until you repent of that sin and trust the Lord Jesus 
you'll never know what it is to have life. And you'll never know what it is to have eternal life. And you'll never know what it is to be truly satisfied. I can say tonight, none but Christ can satisfy. None other name for me. There's love, there's life, there's everlasting joy, Lord Jesus. Found in thee. Soul, heart tonight, the Lord Jesus is saying, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Will you come tonight? Let's bow in a wee word of prayer. Our Father God, tonight thou knowest the need of every heart. We thank thee, Lord, tonight thou art the answer to that need. We realize, Lord, tonight the Lord Jesus is the one in whom dwells the fullness of life. And for any person in this meeting tonight not sealed, that, Lord, tonight that they would repent of their sin and come to the one who gave himself so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Lord, hear our cry tonight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.